we successfully su survived our first night, which was a glorious night, by the way. Dropped down to about, what was it, 52? 52. 52. Yeah. And guess what? Even at 52 degrees, those blood-sucking devil insects called mosquitoes will come down on you and bite you. So, there is no limit to what these things won't do. They're still attacking me. <laughs> but uh, here's Relax's setup. He's got his uh, spin tarp. And what, what, uh, what underquill is that? Uh, Molly Mac gear. The Molly Mac gear underquill. Is that the, the IX orca? IX underquill. IX underquill. And uh, you're holding this logic. Double layer. Bad mamma jamma hammock. <laughs> White Owl. White Owl. See, I'm just making names up now because that's what I do. With the bug net. With the bug net. And you were fine, right? Yeah. It was a good night's sleep. Yeah. Uh, and I'm over there in my sort of mess. He's very organized over here. He's got, you know, his stuff set up and it's all organized and color-coded. I'm a little type A. And uh, I'm, I'm a hot mess over here. <laughs> like I just, uh, I was strewing things about because I just don't care anymore. It's, it's come down to it. <laughs> yeah, I just kind of throw it. Everything goes out of the bag and then on top of the bag. That's how I roll. I washed everything last night and it's still wet and it's cold, so that's gonna be fun. Uh, oh, Adam, brother man, this thing saved me last night. It, it got cold, this is ready to 40. I was not one cold spot on me from the neck down. So, all right. I'm talking too much and I'm burning videotape and it's only day two. So we will see you guys and we find cool stuff on the trail. These are, what, what are they called? What are they called? Uh, Vivo Barefoot. Vivo Barefoot. Lighter than Crocs, as comfortable, stays on your feet, right? Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Is this the first time you rocked them out? Yes. Yeah. And, and they I worked out. Them every trip now. Yep. Get her done. Me, again, being lazy, I just wore my trail runners with my uh, Gore-Tex socks. Oh, thanks, Suge, for that uh, little tidbit. I was paying attention to when you talked on the hammock forms. And instead of wearing Gore-Tex socks for when it rains, your feet are going to go wet anyway. You just switch your socks out when you get to camp. Gore-Tex socks over it, put them in your wet boots. Bam! Works like a charm. All right, now we're moving on. So we're hiking in this... Nice little field. And walk backwards. Uh, 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 walking backwards. Uh, uh. Yeah, I can hike and walk at the same time. And work a camera and be an idiot. That's how I roll. <laughs> nice little field. Hotter day today. And uh, relax, what they say? Torrential downpours in the afternoon? Yeah, that's what they say. Yeah, torrential downpours in the afternoon. Spot on like last night. Yeah, we'll see what happens. My, what I heard, my rendition of the story before I left was it was going to rain in the evening and well into, t into Monday. But, you know, weathermen and women like to change their minds from time to time. So uh, we'll find out what actually really happens. Till then, trail on! And our first Vista view of the morning. Caleb's Peak. In good old state of Connecticut. So, uh, we had that nasty rainstorm most of uh, Saturday morning. And uh, hiking in the rain, and my Grota knife done got wet, and looks like she rusted in the sheath, the Kydex sheath. So, uh, Jose, I'm going to have to send you back a little bit of a rusted blade. I apologize in advance. I did oil this before I left the house, but uh, I guess I didn't oil it good enough. But uh, relax, he's got some mineral oil. We're gonna treat this a little bit, try to save what we can. But uh, it's still sharp, it's just rusty. We're sitting here at Caleb's Peak. Had uh, a little bit of lunch. If you wanna call 10.30 in the a.m. lunch. <laughs> Let my feet rest a little bit. And this must be the day of equipment failures because this is my bungee cord to keep my gaiters on my uh, shoes and that's wearing thin. Look at that. 
So, I hope this is the end of the equipment failures for today. I really don't want to see any more equipment failures and the rest of the day. Especially with, if it's hammock related, because then that would suck. And I hope I didn't jinx myself. I'm going to knock on rock. <laughs> Alright, we just hiked down this treacherous monstrosity. It goes all the way up. St. John's Ledges. St. John's Ledges. With steep stone steps down to the Housatonic. That's it. Housatonic. Yeah, baby. I'm bringing it. Bringing the heat. Just like the sun is now. <laughs> so, moving on to the Housatonic. River, that is. Well, we've been walking down these uh, treacherous rocks for quite a while. And nice little flowers over there. And it just keeps <laughs> going down. And the water monkey bit it. I I'm not going to be afraid to tell everyone. I fell on my ass. Well, on my hands, really. And I'm going to do this while I walk down. Because I want to fall down again for the camera. And uh, I lost a trekking pole. I have since recovered said trekking pole. <laughs> and uh, it was ugly. If I didn't have my ninja cat-like reflexes, I probably would have ate it in the face. It would have been ugly. So, and I'm also glad that at least we have some dry rock to grip onto because, uh, I'll tell you what, he's stuck. <laughs> uh, this ain't right. <laughs> this is five shades of wrong. <laughs> All right, we're gonna try to negotiate our way. It looks like we're coming near the end of this god awful mess. And then we gotta negotiate this. I don't know how we're gonna do that. One thing great about Connecticut is like water every like quarter mile, half a mile, mile, mile and a half. Man, you just can't go anywhere without finding some water. And the water monkey likes the water. Lack of the water. Hiking what seems like forever. Uh, they have you walk alongside the uh, Housatonic River for about four, four and a half miles. And now we're in this field, which is probably full of ticks, because the grass is uh, elbow high. But it's nice if you take a look at the uh, the mountains in the background. That's pretty cool. Now we're getting close to Relax's end destination, and just the beginning. <laughs> Of where I'm gonna go camp, which is probably Cedar Brook campsite or Caesar or oh, I gotta check the map again. <laughs> it's getting hot out. It's like 75 degrees now. And uh oh, getting kind of lethargic. 1.30 in the afternoon. Been hiking six since about 8.15. About a 20 minute break for lunch. Alright, break again with uh relax before he goes on his trail. Probably have some uh, beef jerky and give me some Gatorade in my body. I'm probably needing some electrolytes. And, uh, and that's all I gotta say about that. So, we are continuing, continuing to hike on. Peace. Well, ladies and gentlemen, live from the poop deck. The thunderstorm. I don't know if you can see this, but it's pretty torrential. I had to do uh, my business in the privy which I will not show you out of common courtesy, and I'm sure you will appreciate that. But, uh, holy Christmas, it's coming down. Uh, I'm gonna have to make my way to under the shelter and uh, ride this puppy out. It's a cold rain. Places are being put on. Thunder is happening. Hey, can you see that? Look at that. This is not a time to be hiking. Run for shelter. <laughs> it was warmer in the privy. I may go back. <laughs> so, Relax is now waiting for his ride. And I'm back on the trail. As you can see, the rain subsided for now. And I'm on the trail by myself. And uh, 
I'll be honest, I'm developing a pretty nasty case of monkey funk junk, kind of reminiscent from last year, and I thought I was doing a much better job of uh, taking care of that, but I just get a bad shaving problem. I don't know what it is. So, I'm going into preventative maintenance the rest of tonight, just washing the area, washing my drawers every creek that seemed to work. Last time there's more creeks in this area, so it might uh, might be beneficial to me. Rocks are all slick. It must have put out two or three inches of rain in about uh, 40 minutes, which is pretty impressive. But uh, everything's cooling off. Thank God, it's starting to get a little too hot, and uh, I'm still trekking. Seems like tomorrow might be a low mileage day, just so I can stay at camp a little sooner. I mean, a little later uh, tonight and stay there a little later tomorrow in the morning and then head on out to a trail shelter that's probably in the seven to nine mile range just so I can get there a little sooner and once again do a little more maintenance for myself as far as uh, keeping the area clean and let it work itself out. It doesn't stay very long if I take much better care of it, but I thought I was taking good care of it. And that's what you get. <laughs> the trail throws you curveballs. My legs feel great. I'm, uh, after that rest period at, at, the, at the camp with Relax, I feel much better. I was starting to uh, taper off a little bit. and I got some Gatorade in me and now I'm revitalized and ready to rock and roll. But uh, I gotta deal with this monkey funk junk. <laughs> so, alright, the rocks are getting slick and it looks like there's a lot more of them. So I'll keep you posted as to what's going on. There is a warning. Guinea Brook, which is this, <laughs> may be impassable during periods of heavy rain. That looks pretty nasty. Uh, originally, they would like you to go that away. But you can kiss my ass. <laughs> so I'm probably gonna work my way down where there's more rocks. And uh, it seems a little more passable over there. After, of course, I wash up. Because water monkey's gotta clear the funk. All right, I will let you know if I pass through and I make it. If not, well, I die trying. In the name of charity. Well, I made it. And <laughs> I mean, my first uh, river fording ever. So they wanted you to start here and then walk across here. As you can see right there, it looks really, really dangerous. So I was like, screw that noise. So what I did was I made it over to the middle section and there's a lot more rocks and ways to secure my feet across the bed. Crawled up to that uh, log and then crawled up, up and over. So uh, relax. Remember how you said I'd probably just get one foot wet because the warning on the sign <laughs> is crap. Once again, my friend, Connecticut is not all flat and that, my friend, was a river fording. <laughs> river fording. Number love for you, but that was a river fording. I'm at the top of Pine, Pine Knob Hill. And there is this, I don't know if it's a turkey vulture or if it's an actual, uh, yeah, it looks like a turkey vulture. He's just chilling right in front of me. He's literally, this camera doesn't do it justice. He's like 25 feet from me. That's insanity. Here's the view of Pine Knob Hill. Uh, really, that's the coolest part right there. <laughs> 